everyone. I'm Sheldon Barlow Rumor, and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. Taquan, are we doing all right today? We're doing all right today. Over the river and through the woods. Landed us here in New York City. We're having such a good time meeting such amazing people. How are you, Chris? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you are a stylist, correct? Yes. Yes, I'm a stylist. So when people say you are a stylist, what do you think that that means? Because not everybody knows exactly what that yeah, means. Yeah, and it's funny because I was just talking to someone the other day, and I was telling them, I was like, I'm a stylist. And they were like, oh, so you model. I was like, no, stylist. And they're like, oh, so you design the clothes. I'm like, no, stylist. It just baffles me like how people don't understand like what that is. And I basically had to explain it to them. Exactly. And after about five minutes they finally understood it but yeah I'm a stylist basically you know I have a vision yeah. whether it comes to like an editorial or a celebrity and I just execute that vision through different designers that I work with. Oh I love that I love that and do you work with an array of different people? I work with a lot of different people. I work with a lot of different brands, a lot of different showrooms, a lot of different uh, PR agencies, uh, independent designers. So yeah, a lot of contacts. A lot of contacts. How important is collaboration in the world of styling? How important is that? Collaboration is very important because you have to collaborate on every single thing you do. Um, and it helps to have um, to be professional and to be respectful. Because in this industry, there's a lot of people who have, like, big egos. Yeah. <laughs> and you kind of have to learn, how, or, like, you know, attitudes. And you kind of have to learn how to just deal with that. You know, you can't really, you know, clap back, yep, as yep. some people like to <laughs> yes, say. Yes. You know, but, um, yeah. you know, I've just, every shoot I work with, you know, I got to work with a photographer or yes. the talent, their management, their record label, their PR. Yes. You know, and sometimes... They don't even have it all together. Like, for example, I did yeah. a shoot with the artist, and, um, you know, we were ready to go. Yep. Um, I was in communication with the record label, okay. right? So, you know, I had the photographer, <laughs> the studio, the label, everything was on board. Yeah. The talent comes to the set and didn't like anything. So, you know... Job. Yeah, the management didn't like anything, so I go to the label. I was like, hey, like this was approved by you guys, this, that, and the third. Right. And they're like, yeah, we didn't tell them this, that, and the third. What? So then it's like, exactly. So now yes. because these people don't know how to communicate, Absolutely. you know, now like I have to come in and like finesse the situation yes. and, you know, talk the artists and the management into this. You know, yes. so you got to learn how to like, you know, you really got to have good communication skills. Absolutely. Absolutely. Having good communication skills, understanding right, your vision and being able to share your vision with what everybody has going on. So in order to even be a stylist at this level, you have already had to have had a vision yeah. for yourself. Right. Right. Yeah. Know, knowing where it is you wanted well, to be. It's funny. So back when I was in high school, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know what a stylist was, right, right? right? So going into college, I was just like, okay, I want to be a fashion merchandiser because I didn't know what to, what it took to be a stylist, right? Yeah. So I went to Philadelphia University for oh, fashion oh, merchandising. Oh, yeah. Philadelphia. <laughs> um, and then during the summer break, yeah. I stayed with my uncle because he lives in Jersey City, which is like right across the water from New York. So I come to New York and I'm just like, I'm not going back to Philly. I'm, I'm staying in New York. Yes. I'm going to go to school here. Still didn't know exactly what a stylist was, right. but, like, since I'm in New York, like, I kind of got an idea, like, yeah. you know, there's this industry here, and, you know, I wanted to be a part of it, but I didn't yes. know exactly how. So when I said that, I was like, okay, you know, I asked my uncle, I was like, can yeah. I stay with you? And he was like, no. <laughs> he was like, he was like. expecting that answer, right? He said no. He was like, you know, I, you're here for the summer. Yes. He thought, because he thought I would just go back to Philly. I yes. was like, he was like, no. Well, you know, you need to Finish, right? go and you know, if he's like, if you want to go to school here, that's great. But he's like, you can't stay with me year round. Right, 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 right. You know, <laughs> so you know, I had to get a job yes. um, at a supermarket, and yes. I ended up staying with uh, my best friend at the time and his mom. Wow. So I'm still going to school. I'm working in the supermarket, right? And this one guy is always coming up to my line, right? right? And, you know, we got to talking one day, and long story short, turns out he was, like, Missy Elliott's stylist. Yeah. Stop. And this is, like, back in, like, chingling days, yes, like that era, yes, right? Yes. Oh, I 
know it. So I then, know it. you know, he was like, yeah, you know, yep. I'm looking for an assistant. And, yeah. you know, we have a, a show in, like, Pittsburgh and then Malaysia and this thing. I was like, I'm there. Like, I'm there. I didn't even quit. I just stopped coming to work. Like, <laughs> and then, like, you know, um, but one thing I do regret is, one thing I do regret is that I also stopped going to school. Okay. Um, because, you know, but I just wanted to be there, you know, yes. in that thing, you know. I really wanted to just be in it. Yes. Um, but that's one thing I regret. Now it's okay, but, you know, yeah. definitely, because, you know, eventually I end up stop yeah. working with him. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I have nothing else to fall back on. Right. But your skill and your gut, because right. you followed your gut, right? I did. Right? I did. And, you know, um, so then after that, you know, there was just a series of, you know, highs and lows and all that stuff. But, you know, right now I like where I am. So yes. yeah. we like where you are, too. We like where you are, too. And we know that you do good work. We know that you're working with amazing people. And you know that you are shining day in and day out. I know all of the lovely ladies that have connected us with this amazing event have spoken so highly of you and said that you cannot wait until he gets here. You have to meet Chris. <laughs> And he has not I, disappointed in one bit. So now if people want to follow Fan and like you, if people want to get in touch with you as the amazing stylist that you are, where would they find you, online or off? Um, I would say to go to my IG, my Instagram, uh, Sanford Style, S-A-N-D, like sand, and then Ford, like the car, F-O-R-D. No, because every time... No, people will literally look at my last name and say Stanford. I'm like, there's no T. Like, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? But so that um, underscore style, okay. and that's my IG handle. Um, so I just say reach out to me there. You know, I answer my DMs all the time. You heard it here. He answers his DMs. He answers his DMs. We're going to follow Fan and like him. We encourage you to do the same. Chris, thank you so much for sitting with us. Oh, I love it. We'll be right back with more This Is It TV with Sheldon Barlett Rumor.